Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 Weapon Showcase. Uh, today's gonna be the second installment of the series, with the Valor Heart at the forefront of the battles. Uh, I've been looking at comments, and a lot of people wanted to see this weapon. I can see why I almost never use it. Uh, it is a great quality weapon, it's just not something for my playstyle. Uh, it's really good at trading, uh, especially with some of the lighter weapons. If you're fighting a straight sword user or a curved sword, you can actually just go in and trade without a worry. You'll, you'll out-damage them. Uh, you could even be used against ultras, but you do have to watch out for your stamina because it does consume a lot of stamina when you do attack and technically guard at the same time if a weapon hits you, so you could get guard broken if you're not careful. Uh, it's got straight sword heavy attacks. It's got a great jumping attack, which actually can be connected from the lights if you time it right and someone panic rolls, so you can get them. Um, it has two different weapon arts. One's like a uh, kind of like a guard push, like a shield, and one is a thrust chase down move. Which actually works great for uh, covering some spacing, so we'll see. I'm not the master of this weapon, nor have I really used it a lot. Here is the weapon, I mean the gear that I'm using, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's a quality build, it does get the best damage output from quality, it has a D and C scaling for strength index. And overall, it's, it's just different. I'm going to try my best to use it, as best I can for you guys. Alright, first battle, and it would be this area. What do we got? We got Unstoppable Warrior. Alright, brother. Alright, Unstoppable Warrior. <laughs> we'll see how unstoppable you are. Sorry, I didn't know you were trying to chug. <laughs> Says Dark Souls, the command was already input. One, two, three? Does our, does our one that combo? We'll see right now. That's a true combo. That's actually nuts. My boy, <laughs> please stop. Okay, well, we'll get to see at least. Oh my god, he doesn't stop. He does only the R1 combo. Oh, there's that trade I was talking about. Good fight, sir. So yeah, it trades well against bigger weapons, because that would have been very damaging on any other weapon, but this one, I got to tank through it and just smack him. <laughs> Alright, good first fight. Alright, fight two, and I hear a mage. Oh no, it's it's Unstop Warrior again. Oh, hello, brother. Sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to put my weapon away. There you go. Maybe he'll learn. No, oh, he's still going for it. That seems like a true combo. Is it? I think it is, dude. I didn't know that, but it is. It has an R1 to jumping attack. That's kind of crazy for a straight sword. If you think about it. <laughs> That's insane damage, dude. Okay. Alright, well, we know that now. Okay. Okay, maybe it won't be Unstop Warrior again, because that's not really a good showcase. There we go. Hi, hello, Igon of Karim. Uh, okay. What is that? A, a Dark Moon Blade Whip. Now that is a good weapon for this showcase. Maybe we'll see how well I can, you know, out-trade a whip. Okay, that, that jumping attack... So far, the forefront of my favorite things of this weapon. Uh, maybe you shouldn't uh, just straight up went for a parry, you know? It might have been in your best idea to not do that. And that might have been in my best idea to not trade with, but I really wanted to test the potential. Does that combo? I don't think the jumping attack combos into anything. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I gone off Karim. Stop it, you hooligan. It's already over. I thought he was going to heal and it kind of scared me, not going to lie. <laughs> oh my god, the lengths people will go to to not just die. Good fight, sir. He just runs away the entire time. Oh my god, good fight. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm digging it. Full on tank set. Okay. Johnny Yaz, dude, I, I dig it. We'll see. We'll see how well this weapon can handle a tank build, I guess. Okay. Starting off strong, Johnny. Okay. I don't have 100% block, I forgot. <laughs> will, this, will this even the playing field here? I want to see how well this thing performs on Wake Up. Okay, I probably could have did well. I just I failed. Okay, I do want to trade with this. It might be very damaging to my health, but I want to see. Not that damaging. Very damaging to my stamina, so I do need to watch out 
and full on just like watch my guard absorption here. Okay, I wanted to test if the R1 combo to the heavy because the R1 combos to the jumping attack. So that's that's pretty interesting. It doesn't though. Okay, that <laughs> that I won't punish because that'll just end the battle. I have tests to do here. So swing one more time. Can I? Yes, but it's because you rolled. You do have hyper armor, so. Good fight, Johnny Yaz. You were a great help to my test, sir. So against a bigger weapon with this weapon, it's just best to R1. You'll take minimal damage and you'll punish them and do more. That's if you want to lose HP. You don't lose a ton though, because I did block like three of those. Three or four. And it took like a third of my health while his health was done. <laughs> so. Okay, begin match. What do we got? We got... My mouse not on my screen is what we got. Okay. Hello, Aero... Aero Lana. I'm... I'm not even gonna try, but nice, nice. A great sword and shield setup. I don't think I fought that yet with this weapon. So this will be a good test. You have some long range. This Okay, well my R1 didn't hit, but the jumping attack still did, so it's got great range, man. It's it's a great punish. But I do wanna test it on him. Maybe that one guy that I was fighting was just too derpy to roll away. I wanna see if it is actually a true combo. Doesn't Okay, but you're very defensive, so. That's a pseudo combo, yeah. They always roll away. And it works. Man, that's always just a good thing to do. Because if they if you, they outspace your R1, they're going to get hit by the jumping attack, it seems. That's the first time I got hit. <laughs> Bro, let me just R1. Uh, okay, it probably does. That was just a weird happening where I just happened to go by him. I don't know why that happened, but... Weeb Tana Weapon Art Spam? Oh, Running Attack Spam. Perfect! <laughs> it's great when trading against the spammer as well, because the second you start it up, you just guard absorb. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm learning this weapon. Oh? Oh, I thought he was- Oh, he is using the Parrot Ultra as well! His cape is what made me think that at first. I find that really funny that he happened to be using it. Welcome, huh? It's funny, I was just using those as my little newbie boy. Okay, you're really not showcasing them right. Do not just L1 the air. That's not pyro. A 40 strength pyro build. That is new to me, brother. Okay. Gotta appreciate it, gotta respect it. I kinda wanna see how trading with this is gonna go. But this man is just throwing random ass pyromancies. Also, you're not guts by any. Oh, see, I did guard that, but I didn't get to R1. How much? St I'm kind of like trying to like understand this man. You know how much pyros cost in stamina? A fuck ton. How did you do so many of them? Like. <laughs> Calm down there, little munchkin. I know those seem like the cure-all. And apparently they are. Okay, that is way too much stamina, brother. Like, how? I'm feeling, I'm feeling stamina hacks right now. No joke. <laughs> okay. Oh, you would have that, you little shit. Trash. Now what? I have that too, brother. That's what I thought. Oh my god. Point. Oh, I knew you were hacking! I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it, bro. I actually knew it. Way too much. Oh, yes. Sure. <laughs> GG, peasant. Oh? The, the no fun blade with Dark Moon Blade. I'm loving that I'm seeing a lot of Dark Moon Blade right now. Reminds me of my past.
when I was known as the Dark Moonblade Man. So it is a true combo, but sometimes you can slide by them. Like I almost didn't hit him there because of that, so I don't, I don't quite know what what affects it. But it does hit still, even if you do go by them, so it's not a big deal. Um, I'll try to use the weapon arts more though. I haven't really done much testing with them. Like, how well does this work? Do I get an R1 off it? I do. Okay, so you can do this as a guard, and then you get an instant R1 and you can do the combo. That, that's pretty good. Or you could also just R1. <laughs> so, maybe, maybe that's more of a guard break. Oh, it's Exile Man. You know, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I, I'm kind of liking this weapon. It actually opens up some tactics that every other weapon doesn't really have. I'm sorry, bro, but like, normally if someone has like a faster weapon than you, or even on, on par with you, it has to be a spacing battle. But this can be more of like a trade. That was my bad. That was not a representation of the weapon. <laughs> I shouldn't have challenged an R2, especially when that walks forward. Okay, so... Why does it seem like he's a bit late in this time? But yeah, like, I could go up and trade with that. Although at the same time, I'm just I'm just now thinking... Hyper Armor might be a leading factor in that if you don't get the R1 properly. Yeah. Okay, so... I mean, it's good to trade, but you have to know you're gonna stun them. So maybe don't do it against people you have, like, low ping with. Or high ping with, sorry. Good fight, Mr. Pole. Good tie. <laughs> Draw! What have we here, Mr. Man? Okay, perfect. This is a good example. Rapier and offhand pyromancy. Yeah, so. That doesn't combo, though. Like, I, it's so weird that the opposite way does combo, you know? I find that the most, like, weird thing about it. Why in the left hand does a weapon get more stagger? Sometimes. That could have been an instant backstab for him. <laughs> He didn't really, I don't think he expected it though. That jumping attack is great, dude. I don't know what his hitbox is, but it's ridiculous. This is probably a really good weapon to be challenging this guy with. <laughs> good fight. I'm actually, I'm liking it, man. It's a good counter to a lot of weapons. Alright, this shall be the last bout. We shall see who we fight. Who are we fighting? Waifu material. My kind of waifu. I love it. I love it. Is it an S-Doc? Oh, a dual, a dual setup combo. That's interesting as hell. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how well this performs. Because that is actually one of the best one-on-one -on -one setups I can, I've used anyway. So we'll see. <laughs> Waifu, I love it. Okay, this thing doesn't have good turn tracking, I've noticed that. Wish I was itching my nose, fam. Why has my nose been so itchy? Almost untouched so far. This guy's probably annoyed. <laughs> What's this? This parry straight sword? Oh, it's, oh, nice! I dig it. I like it, dude. <laughs> Good fight, dude. I bet you he's gonna start using that weapon now. <laughs> Alright boys, that's going to end it for the Valor Heart Showcase. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, if you have any other weapons that you want to see, let me know below in the comments and I'll try to get to those ones as fast as possible. I am going to use all the weapons in the game in this series. Uh, I'm going to be uploading these alongside my invasion, so you might get two uploads a day uh, now that I'm doing this. Some days might just be the invasions or just this though, but I'm going to try my best to get these out before Elden Ring comes out. I have a good like couple hundred days right so i have all the weapons that i'm probably going to need to do in each of those days um let's see what else uh, i don't know what you guys want to see next so let me know in the comments I, I have used my quality build both times i can use all my other builds if you guys want to see like a pyro weapon no problem i have all builds so just any weapon is good 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, boys. I'll see you soon. Chase the bro out.